So in this video, we're going to show you how to use the Vibe. Um, this is the power button right here. You press for one to three seconds until you see the splash screen. Once that comes on, it's going to default to Acne. So it's now in the menu mode and it's in alphabetical order. So you use the wheel to basically go to any protocol that you want. You hit play and you put it in your pocket or wear it with the lanyard. So that's it. That's the basics on how to use it. So on the screen, the play and the pause button, by the way, is the same button. So this right here is a magnetic strength. Most people will run it at 10. You change it with the plus and minus buttons if you want to go lower, but most people will run it at 10, um, unless you're energy sensitive, okay? So that's the energy level. This is the battery status right here. This is the program that's running. These bars are the frequencies that show you it's running. And then this is the clock. It's gonna go in sleep mode after 15 seconds. We'll talk about that in a second. But you can see right now it's 40 seconds into 35 minutes and 59 seconds. So that's basically how it works. It's that simple. Um, so what are some of the common things that we run into? Uh, let's start back. The only one that you're gonna long push is the power button to turn it on and off. That's so you don't inadvertently turn it on or off like your phone. Everything else is just a click, okay? So if you want to pause it, you only click. If you want to go to the menu, you click. So everything is just a click. We've had some people, you know, take the play button and hold it real long, waiting for it to do something, which is not what you want to do. You want to just hit, click it, okay? They're all clicks except the power button, okay? Um, as you just saw, what happens to save the battery, if you don't do anything after about 15 seconds, it's going to go into sleep mode. The reason is to make it lightweight is we have to, the screen itself is going to use a lot of power. So it's running, the program's still running. All you need to do is hit any button, <clears throat> excuse me, any button and it'll wake it back up, okay? Like that. So again, the play and the pause is the same. So the only time, here's one of the common misconceptions is when they power it up, it's already in menu mode. So it's going to default to menu mode. It's going to start with acne, as we already showed you. So a lot of people will do this. They'll come over and they'll go, hey, mine's broken. I'm clicking the menu button. It's not doing anything. It's because it's already in menu mode. So really, the only time you use the menu button is when you're running a protocol, you stop it, you want to get back to the menu. And you click there, and it allows you to pick what you want, OK? Um, so after 15 seconds, as we just said, it's going to go into sleep mode. If you don't do anything, say you pause it or you power it up and you do absolutely nothing for 10 minutes, the whole device is going to turn off again to save power. Um, just simply turn it back on. So that happens inadvertently once in a while. Somebody will hit a pause button while it's in their pocket, like it's paused now. It went into sleep mode, but after 10 minutes, it's going to turn all the way off. So that, that has happened to some people, okay? Um, let's look at another thing called fast scrolling. So if you go to menu mode, see it's pause now, I'm out of pause. If I go to menu, you can click or hold it down. It's only other thing to be a long press and you can go fast. You want to fly through the protocols quicker, okay? Um, let's see, how do you tell it's working? A lot of people ask that. <clears throat> well, number one, as you're playing it, Again, it's going to go into sleep mode after 15 seconds, but the bouncing bars that you see right here show that the protocol is running. So it's going to go into sleep mode, as we said, and at any time you can wake it back up by pressing a button, right? It's going to wake back up. So you can check it, just don't do it all the time or you're going to you know, run out of uh, power a lot faster. Um, how else do you know it's working? It's going to get a little bit warm, especially by the coils on the back. It's going to get to be about 105 Fahrenheit. Um, and then you can also get the magnetometer app that we have that will show you the, the actual frequencies and that it's running. Okay? Um, so that's how you know it's running. Again, get asked this a lot. The play and the pause button are the same button. Um, the plus and minus, you're only going to use for changing power level while the protocol is running. Okay? And most people won't even use that because they're usually running it at a 10. The question we get asked all the time, how long do I run it for? You run it as long as the protocol takes. You can see right here, file mileage is two hours and 24 minutes. You run it the entire two hours and 24 minutes. Um, for example, 
Sometimes people will tell me, hey, I ran sleep mode for 10 minutes and I didn't feel anything different. It didn't really help me. It's not going to. It's just almost like antibiotics. You're going to take all of it. So you go to sleep. It's going to be like 47 minutes. You need to run the entire 47 minutes. So each protocol is different. The average is about 40 minutes. They range from 30 minutes to two and a half hours. So that's how long you run it. Okay. The coils in the back are where these little uh, wavy holes are at. You want to put that up against your body. It's okay to put it on the outside of your clothes. It works just fine like that. Charging it, this is the charging port right here. You just simply plug in the USB-C cable and do another USB outlet or an AC outlet adapter into your wall. So that's pretty much it. That's the basics on the Vibe. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.